Hello, good evening. Welcome back to I Care For Your Brain with board certified neuropsychologist, Dr. Karen Sullivan, that is me. And I am here to announce the bonus material for our May 19th webinar, all about gut health equaling brain health. This is a new topic for me, so I can only imagine how much learning and empowering there is to do for all of you out there in the brain health community. Um, I'm very excited about the webinar. I'm working on it day and night when I'm not seeing patients. I am researching this to be able to present you with really what I hope is the very best webinar you could possibly expect. So we are doing this on May 19th. It's going to be live at 530 Eastern Standard Time. That's only eight days away. We are almost 70% sold out, which I absolutely love because it tells me how much you are all craving this information and that you have placed some faith and trust in me that I will do good by you and present you with high quality scientific information. When we do our webinars, something we get really excited about is how to personalize the information. Brain health is both universal and needing to be personalized. There are some truisms that will apply to anyone with a brain. There's some things that are really only applicable to people with certain types of challenges. And then there's other brain health things that are applicable to everyone. And the reason I chose this is not only am I kind of fascinated by it right now and doing all sorts of research, but it's also applicable to all of us. It's something that we should all be talking about with our doctors. And I predict even within four to five years from now, when you go especially to a neurologist or a neuropsychologist or a psychiatrist or a psychologist, that you will be talking about gut health. You may even have specialized tests to look to see the balance of good and bad bacteria in your gut. And more interestingly, interventions, treatments, that will specifically be targeting the bacteria in your gastrointestinal tract. So I'm really excited to get into a lot of that research and share it with you. In the webinar, of course, we're talking about things that would apply to everyone. So what we really had to do was to challenge ourselves for how can we bring this information home to you, the listener, the person with us there on that webinar. What can you do to apply the knowledge after we're done with our time together. Well, that's where what we call interactives come in. And what that is, is a PDF that you are going to be emailed after we do the webinar, along with your uh, video of the webinar where you can watch it as many times as you want at any time that you want after, if you're not able to make it on that specific May 19th date. You also get a copy of my PowerPoint, so you have every single thing that I'm presenting to you also for your own use. But you're also going to get these two interactive and that's how you're going to make this information personal and that's what I'm really excited to announce tonight. So when we talk about brain health, we all know the basics, right? We all know that there's going to be evidence-based recommendations for exercise. We know there's going to be something in there about heart health. We know social engagement is important, mental stimulation, vascular health, circulation, blood flow. I'm telling you that gut health is the next one. It's the new one. It's the one I've already started to talk about with my patients. And as usual, when I find myself saying something over and over again, that's usually a sign to me that you all need to hear this too. Because if I'm getting a reaction from my patients that this is helpful, this is important, then that's a sign to me that I also want you to know it. So in this webinar, we're gonna get into gut brain health like never before. I mean, the, the communication that is happening between between our gut and our brain is absolutely phenomenal. It's direct connections through the vagus nerve. It's direct connections through this microbiome, which is basically the collection of good and bad bacteria that has colonized into our GI tract in different spots. There's different needs for different types of bacteria. And what the communications do is really then modify, regulate, influence things like our mood, things like even neurological conditions. In the case of Parkinson's disease, there's some evidence that it starts in the gut. In essential tremor, there's evidence that things can be made worse when we have certain types of bacteria in the gut. Stroke recovery doesn't go as well after if you have an imbalance of not so good bacteria in the gut. One thing you have to get comfortable with when we start to talk about gut health is we are a living, walking microbiome. We have 
bacteria all over us. So one thing that I've had to do as I research this is get less squeamish and, and less, um, it, it's become easier for me to accept that I have good and bad bacteria all on me and in me. And what we wanna do is take control over the balance because the diversity of our microbiome is directly related to brain health. And it's that communication that can modulate things like inflammation, which is at the heart of so many Western issues. So why I am so excited about this is because of the opportunity that it gives all of us to influence our health, specifically our brain health and our mental health. So it comes down to what we put into our bodies. We're gonna talk about things like antibiotics, which actually pose a huge threat to the microbiome, but are needed sometimes. So I want you to understand how you need to kind of rebuild things after. Um, a time where you may need antibiotics, but what we're really gonna focus on are foods. So I always want to demystify things. I always want to make it crystal clear after we say what's at stake, why is this important? Why is this worthy of your time? I really want to instruct you with evidence-based science. Here's what you do, here's how you apply it. So the latter half, the half, the back half of the webinar is going to be strictly focused on foods, what people should be eating, how much, what is the variety. So this is where the interactive comes in. So there's gonna be two. Uh, the first one, we're gonna look at it like a seven day gut health challenge. And what I'm gonna do is challenge you to eat 30 specific foods within a one week period. And we're gonna talk about, of course, what those foods are, how should you pace it if you're new to things like plant-based eating. Now, interestingly, you might think those 30 foods, since I just said plant-based, are all vegetables, and they're absolutely not. There are five different categories that are considered plant-based foods. And what we're gonna do is have a beautiful chart for you where you get to check off every week how many of these different categories you are able to get in in a week. So basically the PDF is gonna be something that you can print out at home, put on the refrigerator, and really bring your learning to life. The other bonus material is going to be focused on what I'm thinking of as 10 gut health powerhouse foods. These are the top 10 things that will help you manage the balance of the good and the bad bacteria. Because what you're gonna learn is the bad bacteria is very easy to grow, especially with the type of diet we have, which is low in fiber, high in processed foods and simple carbs. The bad bacteria runneth amok. What we really have to do every day is to think about how to dampen that down and introduce good bacteria so that way we have a diverse microbiome and we're actually absorbing the nutrients that we put into our body. So we are designing these as we speak and I think that you will find them to be extremely helpful in really bringing the learning to life. So if you're already signed up, you're getting these things in your inbox. If you've been thinking about signing up, like I said, we are about 70% sold out. So I predict by the time maybe about a week from now, uh, we have eight more days. I bet maybe in about five days we'll be sold out. So if you've been thinking about joining us, I hope that maybe this is your push to do so. So the general idea is you're getting a critical summary of the very best neuroscience research on the connections between the brain and the gut. We are taking the most trustworthy sources and putting them together into a 90 minute webinar where you're gonna learn about threats to gut health, you're gonna learn about how to support a healthy gut, you're gonna learn about the future of treatment using the gut, so not only food as medicine, but we're gonna be talking a lot about poop, we're gonna be talking about fecal transplants. Um, these things have really impressed me. I'm gonna share some video with you of a woman with essential tremor who had a fecal transplant, and I'm gonna show you her tremors before and after, and I, I think you're gonna be blown away. This will definitely be treatment that is offered in the very near future to the brain health community. So getting in on it early, I think, is really, really wise. We're gonna talk about prebiotics, probiotics. Are they worth it? You know they get my hair on, on the back of my neck standing up because they're in the world of supplements and I'm generally critical of those kind of things. So I want to learn all about it so I can share it with you. So in the comments here, we have a link that will bring you directly over to the webinar so you can sign up. 
As a part of your registration fee, we always, every time we do a webinar, make a healthy, generous donation to some type of nonprofit that is doing the good work that we so respect. And so for this project, we're gonna be giving a donation to the Center for the Human Microbiome Studies at Stanford University. So when you sign up, you can rest assured that some of your hard-earned dollars are going to keep this very important, innovative, creative work in brain health going. So I hope that that was something that you will find interesting. Uh, I, like I said, every waking moment, I'm thinking about the gut, I'm thinking about my slides and how I can make them as interesting and as helpful for you. Um, and it really means so much that you would um, sign up and spend that time with me. So I very much look forward to seeing you in eight days. Uh, and until then, I hope you take good care. Okay, bye-bye.